Tigers are playing the Minnesota Twins today in the first game of a three-game set. We are the away team, so we're in Minnesota. Uh, we can read the lineups today. We have Badu, Scope, Grossman, Cabrera, Candelario, Paradis, Haas, uh, Garno's catching, and then Zach Short's back in the lineup. First time in the lineup uh, after coming back up from AAA. Uh, we have Tyler Alexander on the mound, so this should be a pretty fun game to watch pitching-wise at the very least if we can't get the bats going. But uh, we can take a look here at the Twins lineup. So they don't update their Twitter ever, so we got to use the MLB website actually. And they have Byron Buxton, Polanco, Garver, Donaldson, Sano, Rooker, uh, Williams. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Max Kepler and then Andrelton Simmons. Is that short? So some players to watch for today. Obviously Donaldson, he usually crushes us, but especially today, watch for him because we have a lefty on the mound. This should be a pretty good game from Tyler. I'm expecting him to get the best of them, but I, I do expect Donaldson to at least get one hit. Uh, Simmons as well, watch out for him. He's a great defender, and he has a really nice swing in my opinion. So watch out for those two today. They have Charlie Barnes on the mound. We can take a look at his baseball savant page. So he is 6'2", 190 pounds. He is a left-handed pitcher. Uh, so this should be a fun game for both of us since we have a lot. We have a heavy switch hitting and right-handed lineup. So today should be fun. I'm glad Badu's getting the start because usually when there's a lefty on the mound, we'll play Daz over him or whoever's up. That's a righty. So I'm glad Hinch is trusting Badu against lefties because if he's going to be an everyday player, which he 100% should, he's he's got to be able to hit lefties. So. Take a look at his pitch mix here. He's got the sinker, changeup, and slider. Has a curveball, but he doesn't really throw it that much. So it's mainly going to be pitching to contact today with that sinker and changeup. I don't expect a lot of strikeouts considering in his career, he's, or his, his MLB career, he's pitched 32 innings with 15 strikeouts. So he's definitely a pitch to contact guy, like I said. Uh, he's 0-3 with a 6.61 ERA. Uh, six games started out of seven, so they used him out of the bullpen once. We can take a look here at his game logs. So he's played us one time this year. It was his first ever start in the majors. He did pretty well with four and two-thirds and one earned run. So I'm hoping today that's not how it's going to go. We can actually get some runs on the board. Uh, we still won the game, though, so we'll take that. We, had, we got one homer off him in that game as well, so it didn't really seem like we could get to him. But only one strikeout, so we were putting the ball in play. So that's why I'm expecting us to get a decent amount of hits today. Uh, for some predictions today, the first one I will make is for Haas. I've talked a lot about how his splits are really good when he plays the outfield as opposed to catching or DHing. So I believe he hit a homer last time he played the outfield. So I'm going to predict a homer from him today and hopefully uh, a couple hits all together. Also watch out for Zach Short. This is his first game in the starting lineup. He's pinch ran twice since coming back up from AAA. So I'm hoping today can start a hot streak from him. I really think he deserves to be in the majors just based off his defense. I'm hoping he can actually get the bat to where he can be a serviceable player and actually spend some real time up in the majors because I like the way he plays. He's a hard worker, and he's, like I said, a great defender. And when you have Willie Castro and Nico Goodrum playing your infield for the last two, three years, it's an absolute refresh, refreshing thing to see Zach Short out there playing defense. So Also, Paradis has been great on defense. I don't think... A lot of people have been mentioning that. He deserves a lot of credit yesterday for his turns at second. He's really quick with it. He throws a perfect pass every time on double plays. One of the greater infielders I've seen this entire uh, year. So great year from those two. I'm hoping today we can actually get the win. For score prediction, I'm going to give it a 6-3 to three Tigers win. And then for prediction for Tyler's line, I think he's going to go about six innings today. We need some length. I was hoping we'd get some length out of Willie Peralta and Matt, but they didn't really go far either one of them. I believe Matt went three and two-thirds, and Willie went four and two-thirds. And then right behind them, we had Scooble and Mize, who we all know they don't go really past three, four innings ever. So this will be the first time in a while we can actually get some length out of a starter. So I'm hoping today that can actually happen. Uh, yeah, let's hope we can get the win, and I'll be back for the postgame.